Uh, Oscar Yields is the independent candidate for the state seat of Pasco Bay. Right. There's a range of issues. I mean, for me, it's, it's all about local issues and uh, schools, our, uh, our public transport system, our roads, um, community safety is an issue. I mean, looking after our pensions, looking after our youth. Um, there's environmental issues, sport and recreation. I believe that there's been a lack of good funding in the seat of Pasco Bar for, for decades. And you know, I really do believe in the notion of build it and they'll come. And unfortunately, we haven't had that here for so long. So the neglect and complacency has unfortunately uh, continued for so long. So I'm going to do everything I can to ensure if I have a that this area is actually put back on the map for the right reasons. I, I mean, there's a lot of internal politics that are going on in the Labor Party, and I, I pretty much had enough of that, and I was sick and tired of um, all the factional games, and, and I just want to run for the people. I want to do the right thing for the locals here, and I don't want to be any part of this puppet. If I do win this election, I'll remain as an independent, because I think this area needs a, a strong independent to represent them. Um, in Parliament. Well, yeah, look, to be honest, I mean, I, when I do things, I do it 100%. People that know me generally know that I'm gonna, if I commit to something, I either go 100% or I don't do it at all. So, and that's been with everything and anything I've touched. I either do it right or I don't get involved. And so, for me... Um, John Kavanagh, are independent. G'day mate, Oscar. How you going? John Kavanagh, independent. How you going? Sorry mate. My brother, John Cavanaugh. Yeah, I'm Oscar, but so for me, it's it's making sure that I'll do do. I've done this campaign yeah, 100 percent because I know that the only chance I'm going to have is to have a visible campaign. What's and all the money has in fact come from my family and a fundraiser that I held on the uh, 16th of June. So it is my money. None of that money has come from any business. Hasn't come from any property developers. And I'm happy to go public on that. And if anyone can prove otherwise, I'm happy to hear it. But. It is my money. My wife just owns a business only literally not even 100 metres on the left here and she works very hard. We work seven days a week. It is our money and we have borrowed a loan from the bank as well for this campaign and um, I'm hoping that uh, all that money is going to be worth it. Yeah, my name is Jerry Beaton. I'm the uh, Victorian Socialist candidate for the uh, district of uh, Pasco Vale in the uh, state election on the 24th of November. Well, we've got a, a priority about uh, increasing uh, the infrastructure, social and physical infrastructure in the northern suburbs and Pasco Vale in particular for me. That includes schools, public transport, uh, those, two in, those two in particular. The, um, if you look at the uh, train line that goes out to upfield after Gowrie, it's a single track. So they're building new estates out there but they can't run any more trains because of the fact that it's a single track goes most of the way out to the north. We're saying that should be duplicated as a matter of urgency in order to be able to increase the frequency of train service out there but also in the inner suburbs as well because the trains have to uh, pick up passengers in Coburg and further places into the city. In terms of, uh, of um, schooling, education, if you go around and look at the state, the physical state of the schools around here, it's outrageous. And this is at the same time the federal government just announced another uh, $2.5 billion to private schools. The Victorian Labor Party in their first election, when they got elected four years ago, the first bill they passed was to give at least 25% of the amount of money that the state, that the, the, uh, state schools receive would go to private schools, which now puts it in a situation where you have that money going to school regardless if there's any need or whatever. And schools that do need the money are being denied it. Those two things are absolutely vital as far as I can see. One of the things that a lot of people, and myself included, have been calling for a long period of time is the unity of the left. And uh, I'm not a member of any of the parties that are involved in uh, this campaign, but when I heard that there was uh, two, uh, three parties that, that uh, became involved in the campaign, I said, well, this is what I've been calling for. I should be involved in this. I just think it's a, it's a, a positive thing that uh, these issues that we're campaigning around are now being discussed in working class suburbs. And uh, it's a matter of time before these become uh, more and more well known and that uh, these are issues that people believe in. Now I've got a chance to actually uh, do something about it. Um, my name's Phil Jackson. I'm the Greens candidate for the uh, lower house district of Pasco Vale. I support the Greens. I've campaigned with the Greens for probably over 10 years. This is the first time I've stood as a candidate. Um, I'm really pleased to have the opportunity to represent uh, my local community and uh, give them the chance to vote for Greens values. In Pasco Vale, uh, we're a hard-working community. Um, a lot of people uh, commute to work. Uh, unfortunately, they have to drive. They have to be stuck in traffic. They have to drive their kids to school. 
um, and so there's, there's um, lots that can be done to increase the livability of Pasco Vale and of course the other big one is housing, housing stress. Um, I, um, I work in the community housing sector and I know how uh, desperate um, the situation is for a lot of people um, who are homeless even though they might be couch serving, they're, they're, they're hidden homeless. Um, they're staying with friends and family um, in overcrowded situations. Um, we really need to get the cost of housing down and we really need to get um, much more uh, community and public sector housing available for those that need it. Um, in the Greens, um, we would prefer that uh, people make up their own mind about preferences. We believe that people are in the best position to judge their own values, their own needs, and to make up their own mind about the candidates. We don't like the group voting ticket house we believe it's a, a scar on democracy and we can see that with the way that Labor's preferences have been uh, published this week. You asked specifically about Pasco Vale and Oscar so uh, what uh, we did in Pasco Vale is we preferenced a sitting Labor member over an ex-member. We've all got different things that uh, motivate us. For me one of my big challenges I want to address in, in uh, being involved in politics is climate change. We have seen a lot of I guess retail uh, uh, solutions come out of Labor which is terrific um, but really we need to move on to the wholesale side and uh, that means uh, ending coal um, ending coal mining it's a terrible that we've extended those licenses we can get into 100% renewables by 2030 we have a fully costed plan and we need to get on with it it's not good enough to be hitting 50% we need to really speed that up my pitch to students is that um, I want you to be able to have a living wage I want you to be able to have a um, a uh, affordable housing. Um, I have lots of friends in Sydney and I'm shocked at, uh, at the housing stress up there. Um, you know, we need to make it better, not worse. And uh, Melbourne uh, is, is going that way where it's uh, just uh, prohibitively expensive to be getting an education. And um, I'd like to uh, see uh, much more um, things that can lower rents and offer um, accommodation to, to students and other people.